Two years in the books, it's time for year three. We once looked like this, and now we look like this. Philip Rivers has turned this team around. Salona Beach was winless in year one, but managed to achieve seven wins and a bowl appearance in year two. What will year three hold? I imagine bigger things are in store, especially with this new cast of freshmen. No new starters on offense since we redshirted some of our impact guys like Chris Thomas, a stud receiver from South Carolina. But on defense, check some of these guys out. Kevin Stuckey, a six foot seven monster at left outside linebacker will have a chance on day one to show his potential. A little raw around the edges, but the height and size make him an intimidating force to go up against. Matt and Rashad are two freshman middle linebackers looking to make an impact on this defense since Cam Smith graduated last year. Rashad has plus 12 speed on Matt, so it's kind of hard for me to stray away from that. But the secondary and the DBs are who I'm really dreaming on in the long term for Salona Beach. Justin Welsh and Jim Hicks are two 90 plus speed corners that'll definitely see some early in-game action behind Broxton and Pauling. But man, oh man, Mark Coleman, a 76 overall freshman safety from Arden Arcade, California. This man has the speed. He has the coverage, the play recognition. He has NFL caliber talent written all over him. You already know Philip Rivers and Tony Hawk are thinking about the NIL bag they can give Mark so he stays in town. Vince Manning, not to be confused with Arch, I mean Starch Manning, if you know what I mean, has just as much promise coming in here at strong safety, 74 overall, good speed, good coverage, a nose for the ball. With the hard hitter archetype, he should have room to grow. Of course, the new guys are gonna get some love, but it's just as important that our year two sophomore stars make a big leap. Brandon Moore turning into a solid dual threat quarterback. Adam Allen right there in the wings, ready to take over if needed. Continuing to pound the rock with Donnie Turner. And then of course, the new look defensive line led by Big Willie and Alex Brown on the other side. And this season has to be a bang for our senior send off. Brent Martin leading our three senior receivers at 86 overall. As much as we like to preview this season's young guns, we already have to think of next year and hit the recruiting board. Still hindered by a couple of restrictions, we can only recruit from states that border an ocean, and we can't recruit four or five star prospects until we win a bowl game. Filling out the remainder of our recruiting board, we targeted the highest ranked three star prospects on the board, and of course, we're mindful to the ocean borders. Let's start scouting out the guys we have the largest deficit on and see if we can find anyone worth our attention. Nolan Scope from Seaside, California, looks like a good prospect that we should look into recruiting. However, he's not the most interested in our program, so we'll see what we can do. Victor Stevens, now there's a middle linebacker that would plug and play. Our ascent continues preseason rank 103 moving up incrementally year after year. This is a good sign. So Lona Beach even landed a second team preseason All-American in James Finn. And the defensive line making their presence felt in the first team Mountain West Pole. And of course, a couple of our guys cracking the second team. Heisman watch, where's Brandon Moore? Brent Martin, Rock Boston. I don't see him. First order business on the portal, Bo Wright, you've got to go. Jonas Lester from Georgia, I can work with that. And from Lake Charles, Louisiana, Greg Sanders, I can also work with a 70 overall receiver. Nolan Scope, one of the sponge faithful, we'll try to get him on the team. Willie Frank looking nice in the block shedding department. Now, Victor Stevens here, this middle linebacker, has it all. Out of Redwood City, California, he values playing time, proximity to home, and stadium atmosphere. We can give him the first two. We're working on that atmosphere. Jonathan Johnson, we're raking in all the bonus points because of his preferences, but oh my goodness, 78 overall. This is the best gem I have seen in Salona Beach rebuild. 83 power move, 81 finesse, 76 block shedding, and 70 speed from the defensive line. Definitely making sure we can give him as many points as possible. Let's get rolling with week two. Salona Salona Beach taking on the Texas Tech Red Raiders on the road and outmatched. The Red Raiders will be a handful in this season opener. Texas Tech already lost their season opener and they're trying to look to get right against the sponges. But I think Phillip Rivers and co, we got a lot in store looking to just improve off the season. We had seven wins. We're looking to have an encore season with some of our seniors leading the way. Slowly but surely, we're building the troops, building the team, and making them look awfully impressive along the way. Brendan Moore on the first play of the game, kicking it all the way down the field for a 46-yard rush. Talk about starting the season off with a bang, shedding that sack, getting it to Upshaw for a seven-yard game. Let's see if Donnie Turner can carry us the rest of the way for the first down. Yep, he does, and some. 
That's a nice nine yard rush. Look at all that sponge faithful. The lavender and lime is alive and well out here in Lubbock, Texas. Quick slant to Bembry, the senior strikes first. Brandon to Bembry, what a connection. We got a star studded defensive line. We've got freshmen all over this field from Stuckey to McCullough. We got guys just all across the board here. So uh, Vince Manning just misses the tackle and the big man is rumbling down the sideline. Mark Coleman can't even bring him down. Third in in short he dumps it out quickly stucky oh my goodness just runs right by him apparently instead of making the tackle i say with third and short we just bring a blitz even though it's an empty split and it works out to perfection the defense is able to recover and we hold them to just three uber efficient opening drive we're looking for more of the same here with brent martin getting the first down brandon moore dropping back gonna get dropped third and seemingly forever we're just gonna call for a deep attack and brent martin got open but we got hit as we were throwing it and couldn't get it to him Bummer. Red Raiders knocking on the door. It's second and goal. What are they going to dial up here? Probably just a quick handoff. If I had to guess, up the middle, easy. With that touchdown, we're now down by three, so we need to get back to the ground and pound. I have been advised in the chat to not play action as much, but I just love when it works. Totally get that we want to build an offensive line before we really go crazy with it, as you see there. So unfortunately, now it's second and really long. Rock Boston over the middle. Sanford read that like a buck. Man, it just was not enough room for separation. Boy, oh boy, no one said this was going to be easy as Willis just gashes us again. First and goal, back up the middle they look. Going out to the slant, Evans had it, and two other guys were there too, just chilling. The read option worked earlier in this game. I'm going to go back to it, and I think that's going to open it up for Turner to just bust right through the middle and get a convoy with him. He is going to go all the way almost fell just short with the stamina running out but that's okay Cozart's gonna finish it off looks and feels like one of those games we're gonna have to go blow for blow if we want to keep this thing interesting third and goal is send it up the middle stop the quarterback on the option pitch no Willis cashes in third and two little curl flats goodness gracious their coverage was all over the place there and he's gonna take it back and because of that costly mistake Tech's gonna add three more making some silly reads early but uh, Bembry, that's not a silly read as he just runs over his man. He's going to put a move on. Just keep going down the sideline. Oh my goodness, what a fight. The big play has been ever present in this one as we've gotten at least three. I'm going to see if Texas Tech's going to let us go right back to that well. If not, we got Brock Boston over the middle. Another pick. This is so frustrating right now. We could have had so much more in this game, but we're just getting destroyed because of poor offensive decisions. Now down by 20. I really should have been relying a lot more on the run game. Get the sense that the game's on the line. Fourth down in our own territory here. Let's just hand it off. Kozar is stuffed. That is an ugly first game in the books. Not exactly the tune-up we were looking for before rivalry week. Now we're headed to Coastal Carolina for the Battle of the Beaches. It's time to bounce back in a big way. This rivalry is in for for its third edition this time we want to put points on the board if you don't recall we haven't scored any points in this rivalry the first two years we've been shut out and embarrassed by coastal this time this year their team's a little bit worse we're a little bit better maybe it's time to turn the tides if you know what i mean not only is this rivalry important for beach bragging rights it's also important because both teams are winless so far and whoever wins kicks off their season with a dub. Brandon Moore is going to have to be a lot sharper in this one. Back to Turner. Bounces off a man. Keeps the legs churning. First in 10. Pressure in our face. Scrambling out on the run. What a throw to Bembry. That was textbook. When I see glimpses like that from Brandon Moore, I get excited. Opening drive. Moving down the field. Back to Donnie Turner. Great decision there. Second and one. Out to Brent. Just caught undercut by Slade. Another poor pass from Brandon Moore. He makes the big one that gets me all hope and encouragement. And then we do something like that and let Slade take it back for a major pick six. Sprint out here, drop one off to Brent Martin. There's a first down. Just about midfield, handing it back to Donnie. He's got room to work and he's got room to mow over a guy or two. Back to the play action. Gets through not another one and this is our first look at adam allen the backup quarterback already called in for duty here finds mcleod big connection moore just had the wind knocked out of him but we know adam allen is capable as well as a quarterback as a scrambler 
dual threat, whatever you need from him. Adam Allen dropping back, and he's going to find a man. That's McCorder. Touchdown. We're on the board. We still have our fair bit of struggles, but cashing in like right there just shows us that we are actually making some progress. Let's hold it here. No more points. Nothing. Finn busting through the middle, causing some pressure. Unfortunately, Medlock has enough. Now they're at the one yard line, just looking to cash in, and I just run right through him again. Third and six, just about midfield here, dropping it off. That's Bembry. Did he get enough? He did. Brent Martin looks double teamed over there but it doesn't matter we're gonna throw it out to him anyway scrambling out to our left just gets us man what a sack Ugh. second and 18 back to the qb sprint out just scanning the field scanning the field i see the slant across so that gets open it's mcleod clock is winding down but that is good for us as we won't want to take the time and cash in snapping it off let's see if donnie can get in for us he sure can opening drive here on defense making the play we get the stop let's get that ball back let's go more let's go baby yes mcleod is just getting open on some of these plays dropping it back scrambling we got too much pressure in our face unbelievable i don't think anyone's denying here that we still get sacked an awful lot there we go what a pump fake and keeper can we get all the way back to a first down diving for it just short but that's a big play third and inches you know i gotta give it to turner just straight up the middle see what he can do second and ten I did see a wide open guy there on the outside, but it's okay. Brandon will take it himself. So far, so good in the red zone out here. Not even a chance to breathe. Brandon Moore knocked out again after that last sack. He's got another third and super long here. Nothing doing. It's up to Kai Moore, our kicker, to see if he can nail this one and get us closer and when i say closer i mean closer to a victory because now we just have the three-point lead coastal scored lightning fast so it's up to the sponges to keep the offense pushing third and ten fourth quarter football this is getting wild and i just eat a sack we don't like eating sacks pause we like giving them in return so let's see if the defense can make a big play and get us that ball back because Coastal's already in the chew clock mode. All right, we got 97 yards to work. We got to get all the way down the field in two minutes to do it. I don't feel too rushed at this moment, and I think we can just take our time pounding the rock. All right, it's third down now. We do have to get it pushing a little bit more urgent here. And Bembry, what a comeback catch. Let's hurry it back up, see if we can send the guys on a streak. If not, we can keep it ourselves and just scramble, and that's exactly what we're going to do. And now we got so much teal field in front of us. Let's step out. Halfback counter back to Donnie Turner. Definitely want to keep that train moving. This time we got to hurry to the line. Let's throw it out to him on the angle. Yep, he's got some space. Gets us the first down. It is crunch time right now. We're going to go over the middle. Birch just picks us off. Oh my goodness. It looks like we had room to get that ball in there. Clearly not. We make the stand on defense, thankfully, but there's 20 seconds left. And what the heck? 20 seconds left. That's honestly not impossible as this big play is going to get us the first down and a lot of yards closer. We have outdone Coastal in yards, in first downs, in a lot of things. There's Brent. Step up for me. Let's go. Hurrying the team down with just 10 seconds left. We're in the red zone. We can strike and strike fast. Let's go. QB sprint out. Let's move it. We had Brent there. Give us the block, Brent. Yes, sir. First down, four seconds left. Man, oh man, at the four-yard line, we just need to dial up the right play. And if we're quick, we might have a second chance. But really, let's try to cash in right here, right now. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm, I'm out. No, the time went out. No. Oh, my gosh. I thought we had time left. And we're going to fall the Coastal. Oh, in two on the young season. This is heartbreaking, man. Oh, my goodness. We outdid them in so many categories. Just a costly pick. A couple of times in this game killed us this is devastating man we're taking steps back ugly ugly start uh, now is a pivotal time just take out all of our aggression on this fcs opponent this season has not gotten off to the start i was expecting oh and two but there's still a lot of time to turn it around in mountain west conference play to come let's unleash our fury on the fcs east opponent the bright side is rome wasn't built in a day nor was salona beach as we got a lot of time left in this season to turn it around uh i just tried to get way way too much on that play third and short let's get the big stop here get in there make a play we have got to control our anger as we don't want to make costly mistakes as we've been doing we just gotta play sound football over the middle that looks like rock boston big play to get this thing going second and 10 gonna scramble out once more brent martin though on the run creates some movement there 
Big play by him. Looking for a bounce back here. We're calling the same play that cost us the game in the last one. And that was so inaccurate, Brandon. You did not come close to your target. This one's not on me, man. I was going for the guy underneath. What the heck? It's embarrassing right now to see. Big sack. Let's go. James Price is dropped. Sophomore Dorsey stepping in for an injured Alex Brown gets the big sack. If Brandon Moore keeps making some poor decisions, I might be forced to go to Adam Allen on the bench. Let's run the play action going across to Boston he just stays up and gets right down to the two yard line McLeod forearm fracture out for the season oh man senior receiver is gone with one of our senior receivers out for the season let's cash in just for him donnie make it up for the guy there we go middle attack it's king he comes down with it second and three brandon moore once again calls his own name let's just keep plunging third and goal let's just send it across the middle that's brent martin for six defense making another play here would be great and mccullough the freshman linebacker just lurks that one out of the air dropping back over the middle looks so open that's mccorder busting his way through first and goal this was more of the narrative i was hoping to see up two touchdowns now three angry about texas tech angry about coastal carolina we want these guys to feel pain and i didn't see holly at all so i'm gonna feel the pain on that one our blunder before half out of sight now we try to go for three and well see what we can do here over the middle that's mccorder he's so open just take it all the way big man touchdown a few mistakes but less of them in this game and we have the room for mistakes going up against an fcs opponent fourth and 12 let's just seal this one on defense going across the middle Mc i'm there but i couldn't stop him before the line another chance to stop him here as they're gonna get a lot of motion man but hicks that's a big pick for the freshman fcs east cash is in some meaningless garbage time points but my goodness that fumble as we're trying to ice the game was not meaningless. Kozar has been having a hard time holding on to the ball in the early season. And that is a big pick. Lampkin comes down with the deflection. Stiff arm out the whole way for a pick six. What was that? So we're going to dub this one the Heisman pick six because the game decided to freeze and I hold my stiff arm out the whole way through. Everyone knows if you have the Heisman stance, you can't be stopped. And that is the ball game. Salona Beach comes out on top. Our freshman middle linebacker with two ints in the game. Sponge is on the board with a victory royale we're one and two now going up against the rams back on the road Colorado state zero in three without their quarterback he's injured we are ready to rumble we're back in black with the cursive script helmets you know that already means we mean business and brent martin means business brandon moore is on a little bit of thin ice here for me as he's thrown quite a few picks early in the year third and one qb sprint out we have a couple options here i'm just gonna dump this one out brent makes the snag coming out with a lot of motion a lot of play action that's rock boston with a monster play there what a spin looking really efficient on this drive jumping this one out to king can he get in yes sir offense did their part now it's time for the defense to step up and do theirs as well i'm all over that using the linebacker freshman star now with a star next to his name we had two big picks with the freshman linebacker he's back for more in this one and that's a big sack by our young defensive line james finn leading the way all american third and ten on the opening drive for the rams they are going to go across the middle and find fox wow that's a fine mark coleman and this young defense looking to bounce back after giving up a first down and while that was a tight window he got it in somehow dropping back he's going to scramble himself i read that though and i do what i do again how am i just running and rubbing shoulders with these guys means we get more chances here on offense more chances for brent martin to get to work haven't had to run it as much right now because this team is super vulnerable against the pass except that play second and 17 coming out here i think rock boston should get open it's just a matter of time we find him and lead the ball right to him perfect now let's call 21's name after that and he bounces free thank goodness gets the block keeps it pushing so let's call up slants and see if we can get one of our guys to get open it's okay brandon will take it himself brandon such a physical runner hasn't been penalized too much for not sliding so that's always good on our end as bembry comes back for it across the middle let's get king in motion here turner going the other direction strip sack fumble quinn's probably got momentum there to go further but no he falls down play actions have got to go i got to get rid of him out of my repertoire rams finish the job cash in and uh we're forced now 
to throw one up. What in the world? Team is malfunctioning right now. Just everything. They're not trying for the ball. They're not coming back to it. Played some clean football in the first quarter. Not so much in the second quarter. All right. I went to the sim as they were punting and uh, we got a punt return touchdown. Cool. So special teams does their job for the sponges. Back on defense, we can also do our job if we get a stop there. And third down conversions have literally been just so costly in multiple games, not just this one. Now it's third and one, more than likely a handoff here to the right side, up the middle, that's touchdown. Let's run some slants, scrambling out. Brent Martin's gonna get open on the slant. There we go. Let's run the shakes at midfield. Oh, that was gonna open. I don't feel confident whatsoever being asked to step up in the pocket. Not sure if you were paying attention on that last pass, but that was a school record. We passed up Dylan Wave career passing yards for Salona Beach in school history. So uh, Brandon Moore as a sophomore already in the record books. Fourth and six, calling up a curl flat. Brent Martin makes the catch. Oh my goodness. Second and five. Over the middle is so open and we couldn't get him. Well, because of that, I'm not going to get greedy. I'm just going to take the three points. Kai drills it. Third and seven. Defense, get a stop here. We can get off the field. That's a pig sack. Let's go. Shane Dorsey, number 95, once again stepping up. He is filling in in a big way for Alex Brown. Third and 10. There we go. We got a connection. That's Bembry who throws a man down. Can you keep it moving? Sheds two guys. Hit a little juke. Maybe three. Already had enough heartbreak for one episode. We fell short against Coastal. I don't want to fall short against the Rams. And if we want to avoid heartbreak, well, we need to make a big play. And we'll start with Bembry holding onto the ball maybe next time, buddy. Coach Philip Rivers says, go for it. And I have to agree with him. And uh, Brent Martin also agrees. Looking for Rock or Brent. I think Rock over the middle looks lovely. Why are we just missing our tight ends over the middle? We must persevere. Brent Martin slant. We couldn't connect again. Come on, guys. Fourth and goal. Let me know in the comment section, should we get Brandon Moore out of here and try Adam Allen for the second half of the season? Because the connection just isn't working. I mean, on the bright side, Brandon's got the legs to just make stuff like that happen. Big touchdown. We have got to have everything that the defense has got in the tank left on this drive it is all down to this honestly Colorado State can chew out this clock and take their field goal I, I think that might be the approach they go for Fox breaks through first and goal on the bright side that means there's no more new first downs to get so the clock is only going to chew as much as it's going to get right here right now so make the stop and i'm calling timeouts because regardless they score a touchdown a field goal whatever the clock's going to chew as much as it's going to chew you know what i mean big stop let's go called my final time out we're out of those these guys are going to look to probably hand it off even though i just called pass commit thankfully we're there for it it's unfortunate our defense got to this point but thank goodness we get a chance. This has been loads of fun, am I right? Brock Boston is open over the middle, and that was the most inaccurate ball in history of Solana Beach. I kid you not, I was going for Rock Boston. I'm gonna go with Adam Allen for our next game because Giles Pooler and the Rams able to beat us. Absolutely ridiculous mistakes that I, I like hitting the right buttons. It's just, I he guess he's that inaccurate or something. I don't know. On the bright side, Glenn is our first commit of the 2026 season. Talk about throwing your guy to the Wolves. Philip Rivers has decided to go with Adam Allen to start this game and get a crack at the quarterback job. But he's going up against Alabama. This would be quite a storyline if he can pull something off miraculously. The defensive line is falling fast. Finn, preseason All-American out for nine weeks as well. The expectation in this rain game, well, is to fall to one and four but the Salona Beach sponges want to shock the world. Philip Rivers is gonna have to pull an all-time inspirational speech out of his butt because this is gonna be challenging. We're gonna have our hands full with a 99 overall team, and I would love to play spoiler in this one. To play spoiler, we're literally gonna need to have everything clicking. We're gonna need to have the defense step up, the run game working, good passes, efficient offense. Step one though is how are we gonna play defense with our 66 overall D against a top 99 tier offense? Big Big third and seven. I am playing awfully risky calling a man coverage here against their top tier receivers. That sounds ridiculous. And yeah, Chandler exposes it. Probably going to have our best chances playing zone coverage. So I'm probably going to quickly switch to that methodology throughout the rest of this game. But sure, blitzes will also work. So let's do blitzes in zones and see if that is enough to carry us all the way home. And 
costly on that one. Second and goal, he's dropping back to pass. He's scrambling out. Jalen's going to take it himself. Touchdown. Rain or shine, we know we're in for a long one when it comes to the tide. So, uh, Broxton, let's soak it up, though. Let's show him that sponges absorb water, and we're just as deadly in the rain. Adam Allen making his first start at quarterback. I think he'll lean heavily on Donnie Turner in this game as well. Don't need Adam Allen to do too much in this one, but uh, just make the right read. And just like that, our opening drive, we're down into the red zone, running a play action. Rock Boston, make a move down into the goal line. It's all about finishing, my man. Keep it yourself. Get in there fighting for six all right going blow for blow with alabama i almost had the sack and we let jalen just run free second and two he's dropping back to pass scrambling again milro is just so efficient with the legs if i was a betting man they're gonna plunge in here and yeah that's right adam allen did what he had to do in the last drive i'm hoping he can keep it up and brent martin is gonna be the right guy to go to little two minute drill here against bama brent martin open out wide we've got him just a minute 30 on this half of football everyone looking pretty covered up here so adam just keep it with your legs yes sir not trying to get too ahead of myself but if he does all the right things in this game i think adam allen might have just won the job but yes it's far too early to start talking about that he's only completed five passes i just need him to lead us to another touchdown third and four let's not try to be too much of a hero and that's an accurate pass actually that comes back to bite us there let's not let him score please all right so this pick was on me in hindsight i didn't realize brent martin was going to go this way i didn't know the route that well I thought it was going to dig, but really the other side of the field was digging. Bummed we couldn't get points, but honestly, that was my fault. That wasn't Adam Allen's fault. I should have known the route better. Instead, I just chucked it up thinking one thing was going to happen, but the other happened. So for all I know, that could have been a really accurate ball, just like this one to Brent Martin again. For the most part, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing and the decisions he's making. Rock Boston, that's another great call. Now it's time for Adam and Cozart to get to work. Let's start with a read option. Adam keeps it himself. He's got some room. Runs over a man. Oh my goodness. I cannot get over this play. Adam Allen keeps it himself runs over the defender and scores it's going to be important for us to get at least one big defensive stop to do this and that is a play that'll go a long way adam allen has been a threat with the ball in his hands as he's been able to make good decisions all game long so far i take blame for his one and only mistake fourth and two we're past midfield we're about at the 38 i just think we should go for it rather than punt so i'm gonna call a read option adam allen keeps it has a block brent great job on the block you're gonna spring adam all the way down to the goal line and because it worked back there we're gonna do it again read option let's see what opens up we're gonna hand this one to donnie up the middle lower in the head I thought he had it, but he was short just by an inch. So, so close. We could literally plunge it in, but uh, we're going to call a quick slant, see if someone just gets open on a flat. No one does, so Adam's going to scramble, throwing it to Boston. Oh, my gosh. Have I ever seen a touchdown like that before? Never. Oh, my goodness. Was that an underhand pitch while getting slammed to Rock Boston? That has got to be one of the coolest touchdowns I've seen. We got to break this one down slowly. Adam Allen scrambling out, looking to keep it himself, decides last minute to pitch it while getting slammed. Rock Boston holds on. Third down, cover three sink. Come on, blanket everyone. And yeah, he was going to get someone when you have all that time. So far, the zone blitz strategy is working pretty well, I'd say. Um, unfortunately, Milro on the option is going to get that one to go. I badly want this stop on defense, man. Let's get it. Why is Jalen so tough? Jalen Milro keeps tossing our guys around like they're JV players in high school. Like, it's unbelievable how powerful of a runner this guy is. Like, what is that? Like, trust me, I'm not denying Jalen Milro is a talented quarterback, but this is like almost on the verge of unrealism when I see this happening so frequently as he does find Jalen to Jalen touchdown they're back in this game third and inches my controller is destroying my hands with that vibration uh is there anyone open really I don't think there is but Turner oh man that could have been something special call me crazy I'm going for it fourth and inches in our territory because I know the power of Alabama's offense and I see the time that we have left in this game it's now or never I have to strike and Adam Allen is going to make the right call second and nine. Oh man just destroyed in the backfield that was a big sack they got our guy just really rattled our, we're just really rattled out here dropped again this has gone south pretty quick 21 21 we're gonna have to punt with just a minute left 
There's no way we're going for it on fourth and 30. Not a chance. It's been difficult to get a stop all day, but if there's a time for a stop, it's now. Bama hurrying up to the line. Minute left to go. Are they going to take their time with it? No, they do snap it off. Going to throw one out. Hicks couldn't make a pick. Unfortunate there. As Milrow is going to keep it and do it himself. This is pretty scary stuff. I think I'm just going to call run up the middle. It's to the left. Didn't call for it. Let's just let him score. It's strategic. It's strategic. It's strategic. Trust me. We would be out of clock and it would hit a field goal. Adam Allen is being asked to do an awful lot here in his first start. Adam Allen, great start. Let's dial it back up. I think we're going to jump this one out. Is that Bembry? It sure is. I'm going to have to call a timeout. You know, I'm really hoping one of the guys just gets burnt on defense over there. I'm going to just dial this one up. It should have been picked. Fourth and three. This is big. Dropping back. Rock Boston and Brent Martin were there. It's turned over. Unfortunately, the pressure of the situation just too much we come so close yet so far again this story has been full of heartbreak salona beach drops to one in four we lose to tech we lose heartbreaker to coastal colorado state and now alabama jimmy turner a big time high school guard commits to us after the defeat sean turner here a two-star quarterback with a plus 11 overall fine honestly that might not be a bad guy just to get for depth purposes. Looking at Salona Beach's schedule for the remainder of the year, we got a matchup here against the Wolf Pack. It's a must win. We're both one and four, so we need to take that dub. And then if we beat Nevada, we'll have six more conference matchups and so we'll need at least four of the six to be considered bowl eligible but five is ideal, let's be real. And well, taking a quick glance at all of the competition here in the Mountain West, nothing's too impressive here except wyoming with a three and one record so yes we're one and four going up against nevada but there is still hope for us to get to a bowl game win said bowl game and eliminate these barriers to our recruiting a lot of big time recruits coming to visit us here in this home matchup against the nevada wolf pack and you know what i think i'm gonna give adam allen another crack at quarterback we won the coin toss and we want the ball first because we want to start off with a bang we're gonna go down this field in score i'm calling it in broxton Another big time return. He's been a good return man for us. Starting this game off with a little bit of motion in the backfield, but it's going to go up the middle to Cozart, who's going to get us a big play. Adam Allen was able to hang around with Alabama, so it's only fair we give him a crack against Nevada. Just past midfield. Brent Martin is open on the run. Great play. It's interesting to me because Brandon Moore technically has higher accuracy attributes, but Adam Allen has been delivering more frequently. Second and 22. Pressure is coming in. I think Bembry looks open, and that's McCorder, and he does come down with it. Third and nine, dropping back. Brent Martin, could have tried it. I could have tried it. Fourth and 20 at the 35. It's just like I hate punting here. I know it's fourth and absolutely long, but it's like, what's the point of punting when, even if we don't get it, which is the likely outcome here, if we don't get it, well, it's a punt anyway, so there you go. Third and two, more than likely a run, right? Yep, up the middle. Hayes just destroys us. Another third and short here. It's gonna be almost guaranteed a run. So I'm just gonna call it. Nope, I don't know if I called that, but slip screen, not what I had in mind. They still get the first down. First and goal, man in motion. It's another handoff. I'm trying to get through and thankfully, like the cavalry arrives. Got to find a way to win more at the line of scrimmage here. Back to pass. He's probably going to scramble if I had to know him. And uh, that's why he tries to scramble more often than not. Because look at that. Big pick. Lampkin taking it back. All right, Adam. It's in your hands. I need you to come through. Yikes. Slow day on offense here. Gives um, another chance on defense. But Broxton's going to come down with it. Nevada is going to pay. This is exactly why they're trying to run the ball because the pass game is non-existent. All right, Adam, you got a chance here. They've given us a couple opportunities with a couple costly picks. So why not go deep to Rock Boston, throw a mean stiff arm, break a tackle, huge play. And just like that, we flip fields and we're cruising our way into the red zone. Second and seven over the middle is going to get open. And wow, we couldn't connect. Not sure what's up with that over the middle route because that should be open nine out of 10 times. Sprint Martin says, give me that. Defense has been doing a great job not giving up the big play. And why not? We call a timeout with 33 seconds left. Let's try to get some more points before we go to halftime. Second and 10 play action, rock Boston. 
in. There we go. Let's keep it moving. Hurrying back to the line. We still have two timeouts in 19 seconds, but I don't want to abuse all of that yet. Rock Boston comes down to it. Perfectly placed. Just nine seconds left. This is going to work for Brent Martin, though. We got it with five seconds left. Let's call it quick play action. See if we can get Rock Boston or Brent. I think Rock Boston looks like the guy. He's got it down to the first and goal line. Let's call our final timeout. I really don't know how they marked it down at the inch line here, but uh, I think we can just hand it off the middle and Donnie's going to finish it with no time left. What a drive architected by Adam before half to get us the score. That's going to give our defense here. Yep. With a stop. Fourth down. Third down. Points on this drive would go a long way for insurance. We just couldn't connect on an open receiver there. Starting to see the occasional inaccurate pass, but uh, nothing out of the ordinary for this group. Can't afford to get too comfortable because now Nevada is in the red zone looking to work. He's got such an open lane here. Hayes taking it all the way. Third and six. Let's drop it back over the middle. Rock Boston couldn't find him again. What's up? I feel like I've been saying that all episode. Do we just need to wait longer for the guy? high over the middle to get open some of these guys are open we just can't find them and that was just absolutely snagged out of the air what a grab i didn't even see him there he was just out of the way jumps up makes the play so now adam allen after a great performance against alabama is having a rather mediocre game against the wolf pack i don't know what to do it's probably not the best to keep going back and forth but it's like I want, but Brandon Moore could have done this too. Second and 10, dropping back over the middle again. Can we connect? That time we do. Second and seven, back to pass. Let's go out to Boston. Man, we just missed him again. Let's go with the shakes here. Maybe we can get someone to spring open like that. This is definitely an illogical move, but I'm going for it on fourth down here just because I want to see what Adam Allen is made of. And well, Rock Boston sold him there. Not excited about this as Nevada is just going to have room to work. Third and five, I'm taking control of Welsh. He's going to go outside. Boston or Broxton. Sorry. Easy to mix up the B names. Broxton, good play. Well, shoot. It really does come down to this. Fourth and two on the option. We snag him down for a loss. That's going to do it. I guess technically it's not over yet till we get a first down and just ice the clock. This is must have territory here. Up to Turner again again did he not get it oh man i'm gonna run a jet sweep here this might be brutal or it might be the, what we need king to push it yes sir first down that's gonna ice this game out and with that we're in victory formation adam allen takes a knee and that's gonna be ball game a wins a win and indeed that is what salona beach came and did today Dennis Broxton with a big pick and a couple tackles at the end of the game. Philip Rivers with a head coach upgrade. Let's give it to Letter of Intent to give us some bonus offseason points. What a haul to end out this episode. We got Jonathan Johnson, the stud defensive tackle. I've never seen a prospect like that. Victor Stevens, linebacker Nolan Scope. We got Willie Frank, Mario Holmes. We finish two and four at the halfway point. We've won every game at home, lost every on the road. So uh, it's time to get tough and gritty and finish this season out with a bowl game. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you're soaking up this series, I guarantee you'll like some of my other videos on my page. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, drop a like, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Looking forward to bringing you all the next one. Peace out.